Fumble, and Britt Johnson. Tuesday Night Saints players headed to the trial of Cardell Hayes, who shot and killed former NFL player Will Smith less than a year ago. And just days ago, former NFL running back Joe McKnight was shot dead during a traffic incident. Monday night, former Chicago Bears first round pick Rashawn Salam was found dead at a park in Boulder, Colorado. He was just 42 years old. Almost 22 years ago, Salam won the Heisman Trophy over the late Steve McNair while he was a running back for the University of Colorado. During that season, he rushed for 2,055 yards as a junior becoming just the fourth player in college football history to eclipse 2,000 yards in a season. After winning the Heisman, Salam entered into the draft and was selected 21st overall by the Chicago Bears. During his rookie campaign, he recorded 1,074 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns, but after injuries plagued him in the next few seasons, Salam joined the Browns for just two games before being cut from the team, never to play it down in the NFL again. Police say there was no foul play involved and believe that the death was an apparent suicide, saying a note was found near the body. The University of Colorado released a statement saying it was a sad day for the entire community and that Salam would be remembered as one of the greatest football players to ever wear a Buffs uniform. Eddie George wrote, My heart is saddened to hear of the passing of my Heisman brother Rashawn Salam. May he rest in peace in his presence. My thoughts and prayers go out to his family, friends, and the Colorado Buffaloes family. And just one day prior to Rashawn's death, Twitter blew up after Chicago Bears rookie running back Jordan Howard rushed 117 yards, scoring three touchdowns. The Bears tweeted, prior to today, Matt Forte was the last Bears running back to rush for three TDs in a game. October 20th, 2013 at Washington. Before then, Rashawn Salam, 1995 vs. Tampa Bay. Condolences to the friends and family of Rashawn, and for all your sports news, make sure you subscribe to The Fumble.